This video is powered by Canada Dry. I got it. Okay, let's just, let's just take him out the regular way. Take him out. Take Old him school. out. He's killing up here. Yeah. Alright, distract him. I got this. I got I got your back. Crap, he's up to me now. Grenade. Oh. Hey, no! Oh, come on. He just freaking put. He wouldn't hit you anyways. Come, please! <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. Alright, go good. Take it out with F. Take it out with F, bro. It's E. E, E, whatever it is. There we go. There we go. One second. Right. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. House. I'll get in the car. I'll get in the car. Not my car. Not this time. Right, hurry up. Where get is in. my get car? In. Get in. Get in. What is going on, guys? It's me, Andrew here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a dual life commentary or a dual, yeah, dual life commentary using DX Story with no extra software. So we're gonna be using this software um, to pretty much do a dual commentary, self-explanatory. So. Uh, before we begin, uh, these are the settings that I do recommend using. I do recommend that you have a um, use a USB headset um, for one reason is that it creates a a little because your USB headset acts as its own sound card, so you don't you're not using the sound card that's pretty much built into your computer. Uh, another thing you can do is that you can also buy one of these USB um, USB sound cards. Or you can have a secondary USB or PCI Express or not PCI Express. Or you can have a secondary PCI um, sound card. This is really old sound blaster, which I'm gonna give to my friend. But that's not what we're here for. Um, so once you have your headset or your pretty much your secondary sound card plugged in, I'm gonna go right here and show you guys my settings. You guys can tell that right now I'm using my headset. Um, but if I go to mixer, you guys can tell that I also have a second, um, a second sound card, and that's my Realtek high definition audio. So I have my first sound device, which is my headset USB, and then my actually built-in um, to my motherboard sound card. So let's begin. All right. So once you've connected everything, you already know how to connect a USB tool or a USB headset to your USB computer to your computer using the USB port. It's really easy. Um, you're gonna want to go ahead and open up DX Tori. So we're gonna open that bad boy up. Now DX Tori is open. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go under where it says audio. Okay. And we're gonna set up. Um, you can uncheck use default settings but you can just leave it checked if you want because um, we're gonna go to the default right the default the default tab not any of your games the default remember default default okay so check the use default setting and afterwards your first audio stream right here your first audio stream should be the headset that you're using or the speakers that you're using to hear the game sound itself okay the game sound. So check that. The second audio stream should be your microphone that you're using. So in this case, I'm using my uh, headset microphone right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and check that. Okay. To add a stream, all you do is just click on this right here, and it will add a stream. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And your third stream should be the stream of your second, um, your second um, sound card, which you're not using. Um, go ahead and. Um, make that your secondary sound card okay now to do this you're gonna also need a pair of US or earbuds okay this is the best way I figured out a pair of earbuds I'm pretty sure you have earbuds lying around if you have a headset you must also have earbuds if you have a phone you have earbuds take that earbud alright and connect it to the um, audio jack of the sound card the secondary sound card so if you were say I was to be, to be using this USB um, this USB sound card as my um, secondary sound card. All I have to do is just plug it in there, and it will just plug the USB in. But if I was using my PCI sound card, what I have to do is I have to pretty much plug this thing right here into the green port, and you guys get the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the uh, front panel since that is connected to my motherboard, and that's where my secondary sound card is. I'm gonna go ahead and put that the earbuds in my ear. All right. So what we're doing right now is we're setting up um, the the audio so you can hear your friend from a different stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it headphones. Um, you don't have to have this utility. Um, it just came with my motherboard, so I installed it. Okay. So now we have three different streams: the game audio, which comes through this headset. Okay. 
my microphone right here and then my friend's voice through my earbuds. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to continue, okay? Um, you can use push to talk if you want to, but there's really no point. If you want to really use it, click on it and then you can set a hotkey under the hotkey setting. So push to talk and make it anything you want, but I'm not going to use push to talk. And then you want to select PCM and then 48 um, hertz. And if you have a good, really good microphone, you can go as high as you want. But there will get to a point where if your microphone can't support it, it will become chippy. So I do recommend leaving on 4,800 or 48,000 uh, hertz, 16-bit um, serial. And um, that is pretty much it for the DX story aspect of it. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up the game. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close Photoshop. I don't know why I have it open. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and launch Minecraft because Minecraft is not a demanding game and it will be able to record um, with Camtasia Studio because Camtasia can't record gameplay. Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting lag. Well, not lag, delay because Minecraft is loading up and Java sucks. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Mojang. Okay, so Minecraft is right there, all right? Now, on Razer comms, okay, or the software that you're using, I do recommend using Razer comms, but if you're using Skype, um, you pretty much have to do the same thing, is that you have to go to your settings, all right, and the software that you're using, the program that you're using. Go to settings, all right? Under settings tab, go to audio, okay? I recommend using Razer comms, like I said. But you can go to audio. And for some reason, it's slowing down. Uh, and then right here where it says speaker, go to uh, change it from your headset that you're using right now. Change it to the secondary sound card. Okay. And then you can start an audio test. Right. If I start the audio test, you guys shouldn't be able to hear this right now. But it's going to make a call to the um, Skype. Not the Skype. Yeah, you guys shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to hear it. Um, but what it did, it just did is that it made a, a test call to my, um, to the, pretty much the Razer comms, uh, Skype testing, echo test, just like how Skype has the echo test. That's what it did. You guys can't hear it because it's playing through my earbuds. And once you've done that, you've set your microphone to this microphone too. And, um, you've pretty much, you're pretty much finished. So, I'm going to close this, I'm going to close my settings tab, and Minecraft is being a little pain in the butt right now, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch my multiplayer, actually no, not multiplayer, since my server's not on, I'm going to go ahead and um, play my world, okay, now, um, let me go ahead and create, make, make a call to um, Psychostrat to see if he's on right now, so he can pick up the call, so I can show you guys what I mean. So, let me call him. You guys can't hear him though. Yo. Yo. Yeah, he can't he can't hear me right now because he has to get his headset, but even if he replied, you wouldn't be able to hear me. So you call your friend and once you're able to hear your friend from your earbuds, go into your game, hit F9 or whatever hotkey you set and play it. That's all you gotta do. Now I'm getting really crappy frame rate because I am recording with um, Camtasia, like I said a million times. Uh, but that is pretty much all you do, and he's telling me to wait. Yeah, his mic is unplugged in, and even if it was plugged in, you wouldn't still be able to hear him. So the essence of this is that we set up three different audio streams, okay? One for the game, which is the headset that you're using or the speakers you're using. One for your microphone and one for your friend's audio all right and to get the your program that you're using to show up in the um right right audio or right sound card like i said you go into the settings and then you select which sound card you want to use now that is pretty much it it's simple no extra software needed and um if you don't have a a secondary sound card all right what you can do is that you can pretty much um, use your headset uh, as the game 
Um, and you can you pretty much record uh, both your friend's sound and your the game sound with using one stream, but it is going to be a pain in the butt to work with, uh, just in case his voice is low and the game is overpowering it. To edit it later on in Vegas, it's a pain in the butt. It's much better if you have two, three streams that you're working with, three audio streams, the game, your friend's voice, and your voice. So if you guys want to see an example of this, click on the annotation which is on the screen to see some Saints Row gameplay with Psychostrats. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more awesome tutorials from yours truly, Andrew. Uh, later, guys.